Hi everybody. So as I promised, we're going to do start doing some episodes on the balcony. It's a beautiful sunny day today and there's some birds singing in the background. So what we're going to do are today in this episode are marzipan Easter eggs. I'm very excited about this. I've never done them before. So just to get a view of what we have, what we're going to need. Gorgeous. I just love these. All these different types of sprinkles we need. We have some really cool sprinkles, some uh, Easter sprinkles over there with bunnies and chicks, some of my favorite, which are the white pearl mixture, some silver balls, and these two really kind of cool Easter sprinkles made for Easter. We have some food coloring. We have some egg molds. We have marzipan, of course. We have our icing and we have our piping bag. So we're gonna get started really, really soon. I hope you'll join me. I am really looking forward to this. I think it will be a lot of fun. So stay tuned and we will be back. Okay, so we're back and so we're just showing what we're doing. We have this beautiful marzipan. I got it store-bought as I showed before and I'm going to be doing part of the camera today and I'm going to be doing part of this today. The other eggs I have done today, the camera person's helping with the last batch. So what we're doing is we're doing all four. We've cut two rolls of marzipan in half so we've got four pieces and he's just making it malleable as much as possible um, and we have I'm using this time red blue and yellow food coloring so I'm going to be asking to get these two in blue this one in pink and this one in yellow and let's just see how that looks we don't have to do all of them but at least if you can show how so we're just putting, a, yeah, exactly, a drop or two, because we want a, a nice, pretty light blue. And you just, all you do is you just have to keep mixing it and mixing it and mixing it so that it all goes all through. They said to use icing sugar. So okay, so I'll get some it. icing sugar. I'll do that. Okay. Apparently, if you put this on your hand, yeah, it does. It's not apparently because that's what so we both did yesterday. Yeah. So as the as we were saying, having a little bit of powdered sugar, icing sugar, does make it easier. Uh, it does help, but I just wanted to show the process that it's really not very difficult. You just take your food coloring and you just work it through. And again, this is something we can definitely do with kids. And I'm sure a lot of people have and are doing this this Easter. Okay, so we've got, we're going to just make it a little bit better, but work at it. But if you can just show uh, that's what it's starting to look like, a light blue color. But we're just going to work through it a little bit more. 
We're gonna have this one blue, yellow, and this one pink, and we will be back. We're gonna cut them in half, and the fun part, which is the piping and the sprinkles. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is turning into quite an adventure. What we did was we put some icing on these two. We have the yellow, the blue, the pink, and the green. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna put, I guess, the yellow, no, I'll put the pink with this blue one here. That's just to get it to stick. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna do very, very basic decorating. So if you can, yes. So what we're gonna try to do is something kind of funny, which is do the piping not with the piping bag. As we've discovered, this actually gives more control over what you're doing. So I'm just making some, whatever you want to call them, I guess, dots. Sort of in a scattered way, definitely not in a patterned way. I'm just doing these two here. And I'm just taking some Helter Skelter different colored balls. Okay, so there's that one there. And for this one here, I'm just putting some different colored balls. As you can see, I put some dots with the icing sugar. And I've got some purple balls, some blue ones, some pink ones, some gold ones, another blue one here, and another pink one here. So you can see what I've done for decoration. And I'm just gonna continue with all different patterns for the rest of them. Okay, thank you. So I have the yellow marzipan and I'm just gonna show, I'm keeping asking the cameraman, yes. So we have a short one, we have a long medium strip and we have a long strip. I don't even know if I'm gonna use all three. So this is very interesting. You just take one of these and all you're doing is it, you're rolling it like that and then you just put on your various layers and of course this one's a bit rushed but the idea you get it and and there you go you've got your little green things there it's very beautiful thank you and you just repeat this process here is a rose that i made and you just roll it up into a rose like so and I'm just going to be sticking them on it and I'm going to finish these off with maybe I haven't quite decided some decorations that I had before some of the pearls maybe um, and I'm going to finish that off and that will be my final final marzipan Easter egg so there you go this sort of epitomizes the philosophy behind my joyful lifestyle um, doing things for fun and doing them with intrinsic motivation, which, which is basically finishing them when I feel happy with the result. So I will be back with the final, final result. So here I am with the finished result and I'm very, very happy with it for a first time. Um, effort and I don't know I cannot remember what the names of these are but they're uh, little embellishments I put they're not even leaves um, on top of the green marzipan leaves just for an accent and I have my little gold balls and my pearl and white and I decided to put a sil uh, sorry a pearl as I was saying I decided to put a pearl ball in the center of the roses 
Um, but anyways, as I was saying, as a for, for a first time effort, I think I'm quite happy with these. Uh, and if I can do it, there's a bit of a dent on this one here. Uh, but, you know, otherwise, I think I'm quite happy with these. So as I was saying, if I can do these with absolutely no uh, formal training in, in making pastries, I think anybody can give them a shot. And the roses are not that difficult to do. So, um, as I said, I hope you try, give this a try. They're different and they're a lot of fun. It's the same process for the rose. I just put some big pearls, some small pearls in there, some different balls in the royal icing. And what I wanted to show, I think I had said, they don't have to be perfect. And there's a charm in the fact that they're not. So I'm just they're gonna- They're very beautiful. Thank you. What I wanted to say was, this is something that is fun to do, but the place that I was inspired to do them from, the lady there had said she hasn't piped in years. and. The camera man and me haven't uh, piped in how many years for you? Seven years? It's been more like 13. Okay, 13, he hasn't piped in 13 years and I... I've uh, never piped. I don't think I've ever piped. If I piped, I was a kid the last time I piped. So I think for our ability, I think this was good. And this is not a pastry show. This is a jo my joyful lifestyle show. They're very pretty and they're very cute. And the other thing I wanted to mention is we did not end up using these we just made egg shapes with our hands we cut them in half and there you go and the cameraman who has turned into chef slash artistic director has been a big help believe it or not okay so thank you for watching i'm sure i'm covered with flour and icing sugar uh and we'll see you next time hope you give this a try thanks for watching happy easter